In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to load the RenderMan render plugin into Katana using Windows. You'll need to set up some environment variables to do this, so we recommend you use a launcher batch script as this is the easiest way to manage them. If you don't already have a launcher script set up, you can watch the quick video that we have on how to do this, or you can refer to the support portal where you'll find information for both Windows and Linux. Before we jump in and edit the batch file, make sure that you have RenderMan for Katana and the RenderMan Pro server installed on your computer. Now we can start editing our batch script. This is a very simple batch file example. Yours may look slightly different, but we'll be setting the environment variables here. The environment variables needed to load RenderMan are arm entry, which points to the RenderMan Pro Server directory, RFK tree, which points to the RenderMan for Katana directory, and Katana resources, which should point to the Katana version folder that you're using inside the RenderMan for Katana slash plugins directory. So these are all the environment variables needed to load the RenderMan plugin. I'm also going to set RenderMan as the default renderer, which can be done by setting the environment variable equal to PRMan. This is an optional step but I find it useful for the renderer that I use most often. Bear in mind, I am using Windows here. If you're using Linux, the process is similar, but the command syntax will be different. There's a support article that covers this. Now these are all set, we can save this file and run Katana. And you'll see the RenderMan plugin is loaded as we now have access to all the PRMan nodes inside Katana. Let's have a look at a scene setup using RenderMan. Inside the Network Material Create node, we can see the RenderMan materials. If you've worked with RenderMan before, you'll be familiar with these shading nodes and their properties. You can choose these shading nodes from the tab menu because I have RenderMan set as my default renderer, the PRMan options will come up straight away in the Shading Node tab menu. If RenderMan isn't set as your default, then you'll probably be seeing the three delight shading nodes. But you can use Shift-Tab to change the renderer-specific Shading Node menu. You can use a PRMan Shading Node and turn it into any of the available RenderMan nodes and use the filter to find a specific node. Inside the Gaffer 3 node, you can add your RenderMan lights and access the RenderMan light specific parameters under the Material tab. And if you've used RenderMan before, then you'll be familiar with all the light properties. Of course, you can also place lights using the artist-friendly lighting tools in the viewer as well. Again, if RenderMan is your default renderer, then the RenderMan-specific lights will populate this menu. Otherwise, you can find them and any other renderer you have loaded inside the COG menu. Katana's Render Settings node is where you can choose the render camera, resolution, and other settings, including which renderer to use. Since I set my default renderer to RenderMan inside my launcher script, PRMan is already selected. Otherwise, it can be set here. To set up your render camera as a Pixar camera, you can use a PRMan Camera Settings node, which lets you set the camera path choose a RenderMan projection shader, and access the settings. You can also create integrators such as a Pixar Path Tracer 
using a PRMAN integrator settings node. To make adjustments to the render quality, you can use the PRMAN global statements node. From here, we can access and make changes to RenderMan specific global options. We can also make object specific adjustments, such as setting displacement bounds and trace depth by using a PRMAN object statements node. So we've looked at the render man materials, lights, and render settings. We can now set up some AOVs. To set up AOVs in render man, we need to use pairs of PRMAN output channel define and render output define nodes. The PRMAN output channel define node allows us to set up a channel that we want to render as a pass. I'll set up a channel for the direct diffuse. So in the name parameter, I'll call this direct diffuse and set the type to color. Then we need to set a source for this channel. And we can use a light path expression to specify which light transport path to output to this channel. This is a recommended light path expression for basic workflows and it outputs the direct diffuse. More information about light path expressions and how they are constructed can be found in the RenderMan documentation online, as well as other recommended light path expressions for basic workflows, such as the emissive, subsurface, and specular. If you have light groups set up, these can also be specified using light path expressions. We now need to use a render output define node to tell Katana about this channel that we've just created. So I'll set the output name to Direct Diffuse and select the Direct Diffuse channel from the dropdown. Before rendering, we'll need to make sure this Diffuse channel is selected in the Render Settings node. So I'll enable it under the Interactive Outputs dropdown. We could also use the All option to render all the channels available. Then I'll start a preview render. And you can see that all the channels will render out. And I can now switch between them in the Viewer Monitor layer or the Monitor tab. I'm going to go ahead and set up some more AOVs for basic RenderMan setup. So now I have the Direct and Indirect Diffuse and Specular, the Emissive, Subsurface and Transmissive channels. Because these are all common channels for RenderMan workflows, we can avoid repeating this setup on multiple projects by grouping these nodes and converting the group into a live group. This live group can be saved out to disk and then shared and reused across as many projects as we want. Live groups can be used for many different setups, not just AOVs, but any section of your node network that you may want to reuse. So now that you're up and running with RenderMan for Katana, you can head over to the RenderMan for Katana page online for additional workflows, example files, and detailed documentation.